Good afternoon, everybody, on this Sunday before Easter 2018. Today, I am going to be making uh, chicken parmesan uh, the easy way and quick, fast way that I've, I've come up with. And I'm going to make some spaghetti to go along with it. And I'm probably going to make some garlic bread. And I'm going to show you uh, how I do it all uh, right here in just a minute. I'm going to get my phone and I'm going to start off with the chicken parmesan. What I did was I got four boneless chicken uh, breast, uh, skinless, and I cut each one in half. And I've already got one uh, set up for you so you could see how I did it. Uh, if you want to make your uh, if sauce homemade like I did mine, that's fine. If you want to use a jar of your favorite sauce, that's okay too. And what I did, I took each half of a boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I put it between some... Uh, plastic wrap and I use this uh, meat mallet here you want to use the flat side and I beat it out to its almost flat and I put it in my pan here my glass pan just make sure that you oil it uh, so your chicken won't stick and pour your sauce over it and put some uh, shredded Italian cheese you can use mozzarella if you don't have the shredded Italian cheese on hand. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this. I'm going to take this, uh, move the meat mallet out of the way, take this uh, piece of chicken out of the plastic wrap and put it in the pan. You want to put this in a single layer. Put you uh, some spaghetti sauce on here. I tell you what, I've not made this in quite a while, but I love chicken parmesan. Now what I'm going to do is when this is done, I'm going to serve it over some uh, spaghetti noodles. Now, I'm going to take this Italian cheese, and I'm going to just put some on here. Sprinkle it. And I'll tell you what, this is good stuff right here. This is something that you could do during the week if you don't have a lot of time. And I'm going to say that that is good enough. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in a 400 degree oven and I'm going to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes until the chicken is done and the cheese is melted. I've got some hamburger meat browning on the stove, and I'm going to show you how to make some easy spaghetti next. Welcome back, everybody, to our little Italian dinner. And I tell you what, I love Italian food. I love spaghetti, lasagna, uh, I love uh, pasta shells. I can eat just about any kind of Italian food uh, there is. Now, uh, I'm I've got my uh, chicken parmesan baking in an oven, and here in about 20 more minutes, I'm going to take it out, and I'm going to show you how I serve mine on a plate, and I'm going to talk about spaghetti right now, <clears throat> excuse me, now what I did was I browned about two pounds of ground chef, you can use uh, the 73% uh, fat, whatever, 73% uh, lean, I think it's what it is, the regular hamburger meat, or you can lose use ground round you can use ground sirloin you can use see you can even use turkey and i love uh making spaghetti using ground turkey it tastes very good one day i'm going to show you a video on how to make turkey meatloaf and uh and i love turkey meatloaf uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh pour in a couple of cans of tomato sauce uh, but as i said if you want to throw in a jar of your favorite sauce, that's totally up to you. You could also uh, saute some green peppers, onions, and make it even more uh, tastier. Uh, that's fine. I, I do the same thing sometimes, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, I'm just going to uh, just show you what I've got, and it tastes really good. 
used to when I was a kid. I would I wouldn't eat spaghetti. I wouldn't even touch spaghetti. But I love spaghetti, and I guess it's probably over time our taste buds change uh, over time as we get older. And I'm adding some Italian seasoning in here. I'm going to reduce my heat to about a medium. And probably about a tablespoon or two. Doesn't take a whole lot. A little goes a long ways on that. I may sample it. Uh, see if it needs more so uh, Italian seasoning. And I've got some onion powder right here. You could also uh, saute onion along with the green peppers and mushrooms and you won't have to use Italian seasoning. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, onion powder. And you could also uh, saute some garlic uh, in it. Just make sure that when you saute your garlic, make sure that you put it towards uh, the last so your garlic won't burn and it would ruin the whole dish. It would just uh, it would just ruin it if you uh, burnt the garlic. The garlic would produce a bitter taste to it. Now, I'm going to let this go for a little bit and I'm going to talk to you about the noodles that I'm going to use. I'm using angel hair pasta. It's the thin uh, kind of noodles. Uh, let me uh, try to take one out for you and let you look at it. Now, angel hair, <clears throat> you don't have to cook it as long as regular spaghetti. You could also use any kind of pasta you want to. Vermicelli, fettuccine, linguine. But this is what it looks like right here. And if I can hold it still long enough for you to look at it. Just a thin pasta. And when my water comes up to a boil, I'm going to let it cook according to package directions. Now I want you to stay tuned for the garlic bread. Welcome back everybody. I tell you what, it sure does smell good in, in the kitchen. And my pasta is done. For my spaghetti, the, the sauce is just about done. And also the chicken for my chicken parmesan is just about done. I just wanted to tell you what I've got going on right here. This is, the, this is my garlic bread. And you can use any kind of bread that you want to. You, you can use light bread. You can use hamburger buns, as I did here. Uh, whatever you have on hand. If you think you've got some bread that uh, may be uh, going out of date pretty soon, just turn into some garlic bread. And what I did, I took a stick of butter, unsalted butter, and I melted it in the microwave. And uh, I used a brush and brushed the butter on there. And I sprinkled it, sprinkled it with salt. Uh, and some Italian seasoning and onion powder and garlic powder and I'm going to put in an oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes and it's going to be some really good garlic, garlic bread to go with everything. Now here in just a, a few minutes I'm going to show you the finishing touches on my chicken parmesan and spaghetti supper. Alright this is grand finale of my spaghetti supper along with chicken parmesan. Now this is how I, I usually serve it on my plate. I just take me some uh, spaghetti noodles, what, whatever I'm using, and just put some sauce over it and serve it with some garlic bread. Now over here for my chicken parmesan, uh, just get some noodles and take a piece of uh, chicken and just put it right on top of the noodles. Now you would want to have some more sauce uh, on yours uh, more than I've got mine on my plate uh, but that's okay it's going it's going to taste really good uh, by the time it's all said and done now guys thanks for watching continue to subscribe and let me say this when you're working with raw meat and I've said it over and over again when you're working with raw meat make sure that you wash your hands wash your utensils, clean up uh, your countertops, whatever, so you won't uh, get food poisoning, so uh, you won't cross-contaminate anything. I just wanted to throw that in there before I uh, go. Uh, continue to like my videos, subscribe, comments are welcome, just make sure that they're uh, clean. Have a great Sunday afternoon.